And right now I want to show you this snow in the Sierra causing a big traffic headache for drivers. Westbound traffic is being held on Interstate 80 in Truckee because of multiple crashes. 18 cars involved in one of those crashes in Placer County. That's near Drum Four Bay. This photo was taken just west of Nyack. You could see that pile up there in this shot. This is westbound 80. The CHP officers tell us five people have minor injuries and they're not expecting that this will clear up for at least a few hours. Let's go to KCRE 3's Danica Hill right now. She's stuck in that traffic right now. Service is spotty right now, so she's basically joining us on the phone right now as we look at these images. So Danica, uh, we see some pictures here of just a long line of cars, people getting out because because they know they're in for a long wait. What are you seeing? Yeah, exactly what you just described. It is a big backup here. We've been stuck in this going on three hours now. Uh, just people waiting to get through to here. And yeah, we were able to talk to CHP about 20 minutes ago. And they did have some good news for me saying that they are working to get one of those 18 cars. They only have one more left to move to the side of the road before Caltrans comes through and starts to um, plow some of that snow and then uh, go ahead and also throw down some sand so that we can make it through. The other thing with this situation is that they have stopped us pretty far back from where the actual accident is it's because it's on a down slope. And so they wanted to make sure that we were safe where we were waiting and not on a downward slope. Um, but as I've talked to people out here, one of their main concerns now as we're getting into the six o'clock hour is that the sun is going down. And so they're also a little concerned that now we will be driving back in the dark and that also, you know, can make for more hazardous driving conditions. But again, as the pictures show, people are getting out of their vehicles, trying to pass the time. And everybody that I've talked to out here has been in great spirits despite the situation. And so it's just nice to see that people are, you know, still being kind to each other, even in this kind of tense situation. Again, we've been waiting in this for about three hours, going on three hours or so now. And so the reminder for everybody, if you have to travel in these types of conditions, be prepared to wait. That means have your gas tank full, have backup supplies, coats, clothes, warm clothing, whatever you may need to be stuck in a position like this. So, again, we are hoping that we can get through here anytime soon, but Calter or CHP says they've got at least one more vehicle to move before we can get out of here. Back to you guys. Yeah, we can certainly see what's taking that time, and hopefully people are just patient out there. Danica, thank you. We move now to the other major thoroughfare, Highway 50. Chains are required from Placerville to Myers, and this is a live look at Twin Bridges. So let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Mark Finan. And it's really interesting just to look at Doppler across our area. For areas west of I-5, it is dry and likely will stay that way for at least the next few hours. You go onto the eastern side of the valley and into the lower foothills, it's raining. You get up to around 2,000 feet, and well, it's snowing in many areas, although the snow level varies anywhere between 1500 and 2500 feet between the north to south. Look at the motion going from the south to the north. That's different from what we saw yesterday is an indication that this system is rotating around and getting ready to sink to the south. But the clearing is going to take longer than what we were thinking the last couple of days. Here's what we're seeing right now. Dry in Stockton, dry in Modesto, but just a little bit to the east of town. It is raining and now raining in Sonora. The snow level just a little bit east of town. Farther to the north, you can see the Galt is dry. We're generally dry along Highway 99, but not too far to the east through Ione and Plymouth and up toward Nashville. It is raining where earlier today we were actually getting some snow down toward Highway 49 here. Sacramento is dry. Roseville still has a few showers, generally raining in the Auburn area, but you go east of town and the snow level again a little bit higher than what we saw earlier today when we did see some snow down to around 1500 feet. Solid snow on Interstate 80 as you might expect, although it's not as heavy as what we saw last night and even earlier today. And I think the rate of snow is going to continue to decrease on Interstate 80. But the farther south you go, the more snow we're going to see tonight. Pollock Pines still getting some really good snow. As a matter of fact, I can show you the way it looks right now in Pollock Pines. That's Highway 50. Look at the trees just covered in snow. You can still see some snow coming down here. The road looks though like it's in pretty good shape though, but there are chain controls. And then farther to the south on Highway 4, Highway 108. Again, that snow level right around 2,000 feet. And this area is going to continue to get a lot of snow throughout the rest of the night. Back to you.
All right, Mark, thanks. We'll be checking back with you, obviously, and we want to continue with our coverage right now. Let's go to KCRA 3's Leanne Denyer. She joins us live from Colfax, that familiar entrance exit ramp there right off uh, I-80 there, D uh, Leanne. Oh yeah, that certainly is a popular place to be at this point. We have just seen so many people fixing their chains, putting on their chains, putting on their gas. Again, it's a popular place to be. And of course, you'll recognize this, this the chain control spot right here. We have been watching cars check in with the folks manning that station there as they make their way up uh, up the hill on 80 East. 80 East certainly in better shape than westbound, as Danica was telling us just a few moments ago and as CHP has been relaying throughout the afternoon. But you can see it has been consistently snowing here in Colfax the entire time we have been here. We've talked to some folks all the way from Stockton. We talked to someone else from the Bay Area. Everyone hoping that they are going to be able to get up the hill safely tonight to get to their final destinations. Danica mentioned, though, how important it is to have extra supplies with you. I'll tell you, right before we came on the air, I went ahead and put on an extra pair of socks. Like I mentioned, it's been snowing the entire time that we have been here. It's pretty chilly out, so you just want to make sure that you have everything that you just might need if you're going to be in this part of our region this evening. But as you can see again, this is the chain control spot. We've got a bunch more cars just behind the camera. You can't see them right now, but I can. But uh, again, we're going to be out here monitoring conditions for you throughout the evening tonight in Colfax. Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, a lot of sights and sounds there behind you. Thanks, Leanne. Hope those double socks hold up tonight, Leanne. Thank you. Also in Placer <laughs> County, snow falling at Clipper Gap. Debbie Cloberdance sent this video, and isn't that just a beautiful view off of a back deck there? I like how she does a nice little pan there mm -hmm, for us. Like a professional. That's right. Well, we also have some snow falling in Amador <laughs> County. We can show you what that looks like. Ronald Monty sharing some video here from Ridge Road. This is just below Pine Grove. This is elevation of around 2,100 feet, and uh, you can see the light flakes coming down. Ronald says that the snow started about 1230 and was continuing when they took this video. That was around 3 p.m. Snow also falling in Jackson. We want to thank Barbara McFarland for sharing wow. this beautiful video with us. And yeah, really coming down at the time she shot this. Well, uh, residents and visitors are taking advantage of the snowfall out in Tuolumne County. We have a live look at Sonora uh, from a partially covered camera <laughs> and motherload.com. Now below is usually the city street there, but you can't really see it because of so much ice accumulation there. Which I guess kind of tells the story. Yeah. In Twain Hart, families are getting away for a weekend of fun in the snow, but drivers are being asked to take precautions. KCRA 3's Josie Hart joins us now with a look at the snowy conditions and what drivers are being asked to look out for. We've been here throughout the day and the snow just continues to pile higher and higher. And the more people get up higher to the mountains, the icier the temperatures get. Right now, the roads are layered in some snow. There is a snow plow that's going around trying to clear the roadways. It passed by us just moments ago, but still drivers around here are being asked to keep an eye on their surroundings. Good afternoon. Where are you folks headed? Drivers are being stopped through Highway 108 and Soulsbyville Road. You're probably going to make it there now. Make sure and grab the cables and throw them in your truck. Chains are currently required here for drivers. Those who don't have them are being asked to turn away for their safety, but Caltrans officials are there to lend a hand to those who need it. As weather changes, we want them to make sure they have all the proper equipment that they need to be able to make it to their destination. CHP officials are also on scene to offer safety tips and emergency assistance. But as they go higher up the hill, it gets icier, colder, a lot more snow. This is what they want drivers to know. Drive at a, at a safe speed. Uh, you can't go wrong with driving the speed limit. Uh, once chains are on, 25 miles an hour. Uh, drive safe, drive slow. Uh, drive careful, be aware of yourself and be aware of your surroundings is all we ask. Good afternoon, how are you? Officer Lopez says the road conditions here are not too bad, but he has seen a few car accidents throughout the day. Yeah, so the gentleman there in the all yellow. He says no major accidents so far, but he is urging everyone to be safe. And everyone coming through this area is asked to keep stock of all their emergency supplies in case of any event. Reporting live in Twine Hart, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. All right, and I don't want to put you on the spot, Josie, but I heard earlier today that this was kind of a first for you regarding the snow. This is your first time you've been in snowfall, so what do you think? I'm loving it. I'm from L.A. where the sun shines 
basically 24 yeah. 7 so i'm not used to this granted i did wear the wrong shoes today but <laughs> <laughs> i will say that i'm having a ball i was making mini snowmen earlier but I like it. I know a lot of people out here are taking advantage and having fun, and I, I can only imagine this is what it feels like for them. Yeah, Josie, I moved here, you know, many years ago, but from Santa Barbara, I get it. <laughs> I've been out there in the wrong footwear, too. Sunshine how, State. <laughs> how you figure it out. All right, thanks so much. Great reporting, and boy, it looks like a postcard out there. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. Check out this photo. This is from west of Modesto. Robert Johnstone shot this, showing those snow-covered mountains. Just gorgeous. Sure is. And uh, back to more Amador County here. We have a winery. They got a dusting of snow. This is out in Plymouth there. Shannon Landis sharing this photo from Andy's Wines, and it just looks so pretty out there.